We trying to get paid. Making money, making money, making make dollar, dollar. We trying to get y'all. paid. Making make money, making money, making yeah, yeah. save and invest. Stacking up checks. Let's go. Another record close for the market. That's five days in a row now. NASDAQ record high. S&P 500 record high. Microsoft, the leader in the Dow today. Exxon, the biggest loser over a billion dollars. Salesforce. Put up Salesforce right now. The 10 to 25 moving average on a two-minute time frame. I mean, 250 to 277. Facebook, same kind of price action. The gap and go setup was all over the place today. There is so much money looking for a place to go. Understand this, people. We are trading a market right now where people are borrowing capital at virtually no cost. The federal funds rate is basically at zero, right? There is a battle for you taking place and tech is the beneficiary. Why? Because when it comes to companies like Box, Facebook, Microsoft, we can foresee and project exponential revenue over time. Why? New technology, and we've seen it through previous earnings cycles, right? When the iPad came out, we saw exponential growth in Apple revenues. When the iPhone came out, we saw the same thing. So we can look at Apple today and say, you know, what does the stock for Apple trade at with a 5G iPhone, you know, with those incredible rates of 5G speed, you know, what kind of apps are going to explode within the app store that Apple makes so much money from? What about the expansion of in video selling? What about online video based bidding sites? I mean, these are things that are already happening in China. I'm not talking about, you know, eBay here. I'm talking about a whole different level of buying and selling online. You know, what does education look like in a 5G environment? We can come up with very impressive ideas there, too. So this is another reason why these stocks continue to deliver these gains. We are pulling forward this future growth. Now, will it cost us in the long run? Absolutely. Why? Because it becomes difficult to justify valuations when the time comes. Now, granted, that's been a conversation we've been having now for 10 years. Netflix, I mean, come on, I gave this to you. You can't say I didn't give this to you. I mean, you want to know why I don't have a nine to five because of shit like this. You know, I got a system, man. The system says jump into the trade. I jump into the trade and the system delivers. Netflix, 1025 on the daily chart. Pull it up. Look for yourself. I play every single crossover and I haven't been let down yet. Do I get burned sometimes? Absolutely. But pull up the chart and see it for yourself. Netflix is trend friendly. It's not one of these stocks that doesn't know where it wants to go. You know, no, Netflix is definitive, man. So shout out to all the guys who have a system. I mean, something written down, right? A trading strategy that has a definiteness of structure, a proven history of successful trades on any time frame that you choose to trade, right? You're not going to win 100% of the time, but you're going to win more than you lose if you got a great strategy. Twilo, 6% today, uh, only 56 on the daily RSI, so we might have some more to come there. Real estate is hot, folks. Real estate is hot. Verizon looking for its all-time high of 214 right now, 210. I think it's going to get there. Zoom, ZM, nice gain, but a sell signal candlestick on the close today. Let's see what happens there. Apple, nice day, right? Another day where Apple hits a low and then bounces more than $5. This is some serious gains if you catch these with an in-the-money call here. I mean, anywhere you know you want to play this, if you know what you're doing, you can make a killing almost every single day in Apple. Again, I love the end of money call, preferably 1% below the current strike price. Trust me, the Delta is going to help you out there uh, when the price moves your way. Yes, you can go without the money call and the return can be higher. But, you know, look, if it doesn't go your way, 
you aren't getting out of that trade with anything less than a 30% loss. Guys who buy out the money trades, they can tell you. Adobe, A-D-B-E, very impressive, man. I use Adobe Premiere uh, to make this podcast. It ain't cheap, folks. The explosion of vlogs and video education is only going to help them. Tesla, back above 2100 in a major, major way. Microsoft, I told you they're going after the juggler, man. They're going to put another trillion on that market cap just like Facebook is doing. There's a lot more room, by the way, to move up on that Microsoft. Pay attention to that. Amazon, Google, both went beast mode today. I mean, you know, today was a day to make a lot of money. The losers today, everybody who I told you would lose. Marriott, Expedia. Uh, American Airlines, ETF Jets, uh, Hilton, ticker HLT, Hyatt, ticker H, Boeing, uh, Play, uh, RRGB, those delicious Red Robin gourmet burgers. Look, when I bring up Red Robin and Dave and Buster's, ticker PLAY, don't laugh because I'm telling you right now, when things turn around, those stocks are going to make you a whole lot of money, right? Those two and many more like them. Now, don't worry. I'm on top of it. You know, if I sense any movement, I mean, any serious dip buying, I'm going to be all over it. And of course, I'm going to bring it to you. The Fed meets tomorrow. Jay Powell, you know, should have a lot to say. So look out for that. This is the annual Jackson Hole meeting club MMT, of course, getting together. Uh, But, you know, it's been going on since 1982. This is the first time it's going to be virtual. So I don't actually know if he's going there or not. Uh, what I can expect to hear is everything we already know. America's going to need more stimulus and rates are likely to stay unchanged. Guys, look, I'm worried. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm thinking about the fact that we are now trading at prices at looking at, you know, early 90 plus RSI on a lot of these stocks, possibly going into the mid 90s. So uh, am I going to sell just yet? No, because I've been thinking about selling for the last two weeks and I've been proven wrong every time. I'm going to wait for the big red day to sell because right now I'm holding so much that I'd be ludicrous to sell here and watch the stock continue to go higher. So let's just wait for the red day and I'll jump out just like everyone else will as well. It's your boy Sal. Tomorrow is another trading day. Trade well.